Hello and welcome to The View from the EBRD. My name is Stephanie Linhart, Europe Editor at The Banker, and I'm here with Thomas Telmer, the Director for Europe and Central Asia for the International Finance Corporation. Now, Thomas, you um, are here for the IFC at the annual event for the EBRD. Two big development banks in the region, how do you work together? Uh, actually, we've worked together for many, many years, so it's not the first time that I'm coming to the annual meetings <laughs> of EBRD. I consider it personally a great event, both to meet uh, government clients and, uh, and private sector clients, and of course our EBRD colleagues. And uh, the first thing I would say is really, uh, we've worked together for many years because there's a great demand in many of our countries of operation for private sector development and how we invest together makes a lot of difference for, for our clients. Mm -hmm. uh, especially after 2008 when a lot of commercial banks have withdrawn from the region, uh, the opportunities and the needs for us to come together have become exponentially larger. And uh, how well we work together obviously makes a difference for how effective we are. Yeah, which areas and which which geographies and which areas of investment do you think are the most important? Mm. So I would say for me, obviously, I, as you said, Europe and Central Asia. So I cover countries from former Yugoslavia and Albania in the southwest all the way to Central Asia. I do not work on Mongolia. I do not work on Middle East or North Africa. As these are other regions uh, where IFC colleagues are, are working closely with EBRD. Mm -hmm. Out of all this uh, very vast uh, geography, uh, for us, the, the largest countries uh, are places like Turkey, mm -hmm. which for the past several years has been a big priority for EBRD to build up its presence and to introduce themselves to, to the market, uh, but also many other parts of the region. And each of them is quite different. The region is very diverse, as you know. So we have countries in Central Asia which are relatively poor, and the needs are uh, very different from places like perhaps Croatia or Romania, which are already EU members, uh, which are perhaps more sophisticated in their ability to attract financing, or Poland. Mm -hmm. And uh, we work with EBRD as well in those markets, but, but quite differently. So if I were to rank them, it's awkward to rank them, but mm -hmm. I would say, you know, Turkey, the Balkans, uh, certainly Central Asia is some of the priority markets that we, that we work on together. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Balkans, so what would be something specific, a, a typical investment that you would be looking at doing in, in the Balkan region? You know, for example, in, a, in the Balkans, uh, some of the priorities include a continuation of the privatization processes that mm -hmm. some of the countries have not gotten around to, to completing. It could be projects in a public-private partnership space, again, uh, with the limitations of uh, fiscal abilities of the governments to invest in the public sector infrastructure, there's a greater demand for attracting private sector investments. IFC has a lot of experience globally in putting together public and private in the infrastructure space and, and, we're, wearing, uh, and we're working very effectively on this with, with the EBRD. So uh, mm -hmm. banking, uh, also another area where we work together quite effectively, mm -hmm. in the Balkans and elsewhere. Good. Well, you mentioned Turkey as the biggest country of investments last year, fiscal 2015. Mm -hmm. um, fiscal 2016 is actually finishing very soon for the IFC. Um, what's sort of the figure in terms of okay. investment that's shaping up there? So, so roughly for the region that I cover, uh, we're talking about two and a half to three billion US dollars in long-term finance uh, from IFC and from mobilized resources from our partners. So roughly the same, maybe slightly larger than in uh, previous fiscal year. Mm -hmm. uh, Turkey will remain their largest single market in terms of new investments and in terms of existing portfolio. And maybe just some of the examples of the sectors, the types of things we do in Turkey. Mm -hmm. It's really working with the, with the municipalities on the initiative that we refer to as uh, sustainable cities. Uh, that's about PPPs as well, so public-private partnerships. Uh, that's about uh, also working with the uh, equity clients, especially on the energy side. We've made some uh, quite significant investments in the power sector. Mm -hmm. And then also looking on uh, uh, access to finance and creating opportunities for financial institutions to provide uh, term finance to their, especially SME clients. Mm -hmm. So those were those four or five areas where we spend the most, both resources, time and, and money in Turkey in the past 12 months. Okay. Maybe lastly, do you think Turkey is getting a bit of a difficult climate with it being in a difficult region and maybe politically? Well, this region has, uh, has had the misfortune of actually uh, having several years in a row of, of difficult climate in many different ways. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've had uh, uh, challenging years in the aftermath of the 2008-2009 financial crisis globally. Uh, we have some geopolitical uh, uh, events that made uh, 
investment decisions more difficult for our private sector clients. We had a global deleveraging from emerging markets. Mm -hmm. And certainly Turkey has also fallen victim to some of those trends. We've had you know, great, great shifts in the kind of commodity markets. Uh, so, so Turkey is, uh, is not immune to any of these changes. Uh, of course, uh, uh, as compared to many other markets in Europe and Central Asia, it's still a very a strong and very attractive uh, uh, market for private sector investment. Uh, but certainly in the past several months have not been easy also for Turkey. And uh, the harder the markets, the more difficult it is to fundraise, uh, the greater the role for international financial institutions such as ourselves and EBRD. Thomas Schelmer from the IFC, thank you thank very you. much. Thanks, Stephanie. <laughs>